Okay, welcome back everybody. What we're going to be doing today is making a drawing using Inventor and using its drawing file portion of the software. So here we are at the startup menu for Inventor. I'm going to hit drawing right here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do when I open up the software is I'm going to come over here and delete ANSI large. And that gets rid of this text box here in the right hand corner. And then I'm going to delete the default border. And that gets rid of this border. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set my sheet size to the size of the table for the laser cutter engraver. Okay, I'm going to go edit sheet. I hit right click on sheet one and then edit sheet. And then I'm going to hit size, custom size. And the height has to be 12 and a half. And the width has to be 20 and a half. Okay. So now my sheet size has automatically become that for the, the laser table. And that means if anything's out of the bounds for that, it means it's not going to be cut. Okay. Um, so now we're actually going to start drawing our file. So this is going to be a quick drawing here. Okay. I'm going to make a box. Okay. And it's actually going to be a cube, technically. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be making a rectangle here that is going to be four by four inches in size. Okay. Now, if we look, my lines are appearing green. They're hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go to Options. I'm going to hit Colors and I'm going to hit high contrast. Okay, I'm going to hit apply and then close. And now all my lines should appear blue when I draw them in the software. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete these dimensions because I don't need them. They're going to make my life a little bit more difficult later on. And now I'm going to highlight from bottom up the square I just made. And I'm going to copy this five times. It's going to be a cube that has an open bottom. I selected it right here and now I'm going to hit base point and I'm going to copy once, twice, three times, four times. And now I'm going to hit escape. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is for all of the lines that are facing this center square, I'm going to trim that line. Any lines that are left, I'm going to trim them. Okay? And that's because the laser is actually identifying those lines as cut lines. And if I have too many lines in one spot, it's going to run over that spot, spot many times. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to hit move okay so i'm going to select this whole thing i'm going to hit base point and i'm going to just snap all these little boxes in place so i'm just selecting and snapping selecting and snapping and it's a little tedious but you just want to get the green dot to appear and Oh, one more. Boom, boom, boom. Right there. And we got one more up here. Select that. And now we're going to slide that right there. Hit done. Okay. Now the beauty is here, I can take my whole box here and I can actually move the box around. Okay, and now I've selected all my pieces for my box. I'm going to select a base point. I'm going to just hit yes to that prompt. And I'm going to just move this a little bit more towards the center here. Okay, and as we can see here, one of my lines didn't actually get moved with that. So I'm going to just draw a new line down here at the bottom. Okay, now, a little tricky thing here in life is if you draw a line, and what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to make my little mortise and 
tendons for the sides here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line out. Okay, and I'm going to draw it 0.75 inches long right over here. And I'm going to draw down a half inch. Or excuse me, not a half inch. We're going to do an eighth inch. Okay, and we're going to do that multiple times here. 0.75. And then now I don't even have to indicate that eighth inch. But you see how now I have all these dimensions here? If I try trimming one of those lines, it's not going to do it very well. See how it gives me this prompt? So if I want to trim that line, what I need to do, I need to delete all these dimensions. Okay, so that's a little word of wisdom in life. Okay. But now what I can do, I don't have to draw each of these things separately. I can just come in here. And I'm going to select the pieces I want to copy. I'm going to copy all this. It's already selected, and now I'm going to hit my base point, and I'm just going to move it over. I move it over once more. Boom. See that? And now over here, I'm going to trim this extra bit that I don't need, and I'm going to actually delete. the rest of my line right here, okay? So that's an easy way to get one of these mortise and tendon joints or finger joints made really fast, okay? I make one part of the profile, okay? And then I just copy it over and over again. Now, the real cool thing here is, is that I can come over here. I'm going to select all of this now I'm going to select all of this, hit copy. I've selected it all already. I'm going to hit base point. Oh, excuse me, not copy. Select all of the pieces I want to copy here, but we're going to use something called mirror. Okay. I've selected it all already. Okay. So I don't need to select anymore. I'm going to hit mirror line. Okay. I'm going to select the line I want to mirror across and I'm gonna hit apply, okay? And now I'm gonna see the line that I just drew appear at the bottom here. I'm gonna hit done. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna copy this whole thing, or excuse me, delete this whole line, and I'm gonna highlight it. It's already selected. I'm gonna select my base point and I'm gonna move this right into place. And guess what, now, I just made my speed so much faster because I just copied this whole thing and just flip-flopped it over the square, okay? Now, the final thing is, okay, how am I going to make a, a um, section that's going to sort of mate into this and fit in like a puzzle piece or a Lego piece? So what I'm going to do... I'm going to do a little bit of measuring here. So this piece here is 0.25 of an inch. I just took my dimension tool, clicked on the line, and drag it down. Okay? So that is 0.25 of an inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this line up here. I'm going to delete it. Okay? And I'm going to draw a line that's 0.25 of an inch. Okay? And I go in an eighth inch, right? Okay. And now I go over 0.75 an inch up. Again, I go an eighth inch in. Oh, it's not working. There we go. Because I got to click. Okay. And I'm going to do that once more just to guarantee that everything's all set up. Okay. So 0.75. And then 0.125, boom. Okay, and now we should be all set to go. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all the dimensions here that I, I have. I don't need these dimensions here right now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything I want to copy. Copy that. 
It's copied. Now I'm going to select my base point, which is going to be right here. Boom. I'm going to bring that in over here. Now this extra bit here, I don't need at all. I'm going to select all that, delete it. And now I'm going to come in right here and trim that out. And now if we look, we got two sections of lines here that will fit together nice and tightly once we fold this, okay? So these outside lines are gonna be my cut lines. And then in the software for the cutting on the scene or the laser engraver, I'm gonna select these as fold lines and it will just fold right on those. Okay, the final thing we have to do with this drawing is we need to go file export to DWG, okay, and then we're going to file, save this in our laser engraving files, okay, in OneDrive, okay. The DWG file is a file that is readable for the laser cutting machine, okay, and I can bring that in Adobe Illustrator and modify it further from there so we can make your lamps, okay?